Good morning. There's another fine day ahead. I was quite pleasantly surprised when I came out this morning and looked at the boat and what I'd painted yesterday. I'm very pleased with it. The coverage wasn't altogether 100%. There were one or two areas where the roller hadn't fully covered the um, underneath surface, as it were. But um, for a first attempt, I think it was, it was quite good. You can see behind me the boat there. Difficult to tell, I think, quite <laughs> what the finish is like from this distance. But uh, no, I, I'm, I'm pleased, I think. I think it's um, going fairly well so far. Today I'm going to deal with the opposite side of the boat. You'll probably notice that I've already moved the boat around. So I'm ready to work on the starboard side. First of all I need to do quite a bit of sanding. You will recall that yesterday I did a lot of uh, priming above the windows and in other places. I need to sand all that down to get it back to a nice smooth coat ready for painting. So that's what I'm going to start with. The finish on this side of the boat is just not as good as on the other side. It's going to be very difficult to get the same quality of painting I think on this side as I should achieve when I deal with the other side. Part of the problem is all the filling in that's happened above the windows. I think this side has been painted in a very bad way. There are a lot of drips. Um, I think someone must have tried to improve this side and not the other and that's why it's not so good. Well I'm really not happy with the condition of this side of the boat. I just don't understand why there's so much filler above the windows. Before I started the job you could see above the windows patches where the fill had been put in. I've done a lot of rubbing down so it's much smoother now. I'm not saying it's perfect but when I finished the boat it will certainly be better than it was before. In other places the finish just looks abysmal but having rubbed it down once you put your hand over it it's not as bad as it looks so I'll just have to put the paint on and see how we go. I'm going to do a bit more sanding now but with a much finer grade and then I'll tidy it all up and have a last look around and get it ready for painting. done a bit more rubbing down or sanding. <laughs> um, gonna have a bit of a break now then I'll look to cleaning up what I've done. I use the white spirit for that and then I'll see if there's any blemishes or any areas that need a, an extra little bit of treatment. Thank you. 
Hello. Well, I've cleaned up this side. I've got it all ready for painting. I've done the masking tape over the windows. Before I paint, I'm gonna have an early lunch today. <laughs> I think I need it. I think this side is gonna take me a bit longer, having had some practice yesterday and knowing that this side, the finish isn't so good, I'm gonna make sure I get quite a good even coverage. So, I'll say bye for now and catch up with you later. I'm just about to start again after lunch. I don't think I'll do a lot of filming. I do want to concentrate on this side. I think that's quite important. See, and I'm a bit worried about the, the look of it at the moment. Anyway, let's see how we get on. Not a very good start, it's spilling all over the place. <laughs> I've just realised the actual roller that I'm using, not the handle, but the actual roller part, has uh, gone into a hole in this point and it's dropping bits. So I've just changed over. <laughs> I'm on the last section now. Well, I've finished the starboard side <laughs> and I'm very pleased to say that I have. I don't know how long it's taken me. I think I've been going at it a couple of hours. I've used a lot more paint than I did on the other side, nearly a whole tin. And I think when I did the other side it was probably just over half a tin. The tins are 750 mils. I think I've used more paint this side because I've probably put it on thicker which I think has been necessary because of what I needed to mask over. I wouldn't say it's been windier than it has yesterday but more bits of vegetation and flies have been attaching themselves to the paintwork which didn't seem to happen to the same degree yesterday. I'm quite pleased with the finish, at least it's going to be rubbed down and <laughs> overcoated but uh, it's come out better than I expected. Again, I'll look at it fresh in the morning, see what it looks like with the sun on it. <laughs> in fact, the sun doesn't get onto this side the way it moves around, but uh, anyway, we'll see. So I'm quite pleased with what I've done. I've just had a, a wash and brush up, as I say. I think I said that the other day. Um, I'm going to... Um, what am I going to do? I'm really trying to think. I'm lost for words for a minute. I've still got to take off the strips of masking tape which I put over the tops of the windows and I'll do that now. We're going to have another cold drink. Quite necessary I think. <laughs> and I'm going to go magnet fishing in the slipway because when I was here last week I actually dropped a screwdriver in and I couldn't be bothered to fish it out but I think I might give that a go. I have actually just remembered something I was going to say. I'm quite a tidy worker, I don't make a lot of mess, but with the sanding down and painting it's unavoidable that paint will get onto things. My camera, which is black, has got little bits of blue all over it now, so I think I should <laughs> clean that up 
there's a bit of blueness on the tripod as well. It's just unavoidable. I mean, I've been wearing two pairs of gloves, the vinyl disposable gloves with a thicker glove over the top. But when you take them off, you do handle them with, with your own hands, as it were, and, and you just get messy. You, it's very difficult to avoid getting a little bit of mess on your hands and then transferring it to other items. But as I say, I am very careful. Um, I like to work in a clean environment and uh, I'm going to start cleaning up <laughs> some of these bits and pieces that need a bit of attention. <laughs> well, I've been magnet fishing on the other side of the slipway, which you can see behind me. I took my magnet with me and I found my screwdriver. I was going to take you with me and film it, but sometimes it can take half an hour. But actually I found it in about 20 seconds. <laughs> Very quick indeed. So I'm pleased to have my screwdriver back. It's quite a useful one, this good length. Mustn't forget to do the barge pole. Good morning, another lovely morning. Believe it or not, it's just gone seven o'clock. <laughs> I am up very early. I want to make sure I'm ready to paint the roof before it gets too hot. As you can see, the sun is already out. The roof though is damp. It's got condensation on it, virtually right across the top. I'm not intending to dry it off at the moment. I think we'll let the sun do its job and see how we go. You can actually see the roof is drying on one side. The curvature of the roof means it's not drying on this side. I think it might make sense to brush off the excess water, that will certainly help it to dry. There was quite a deep run here, so I'm just flattening it off. I don't know if I caused that or if it was already there. I think that's got it. I'll wipe it over when I wipe down the whole roof. Well, I'm just about to start painting. I think it's going to be rather awkward for me to hop off and start the camera and stop the camera and so forth. So I'm just going to crack on with it. I think that's the only way really. I've just stopped for a moment as I need to refill the tray with paint. Good opportunity to do a little bit of filming. It's got quite busy here now. There's one boat behind me who's just arrived. There's one boat on the other side that's having a survey done. Well I've very nearly finished painting the roof of the boat, just need to refill my tray and um, very shortly I'll be done.
Well, we're having a lot of excitement here again today. <laughs> anyway, I've finished the roof. The last part I had trouble with. For some reason I couldn't get the paint to cover. Whether it's the roof having got hotter or what, I just don't know. I've done the best I can. I was putting the paint on, waiting for it to sort of dry, and then going over it and repeating the process. I didn't need to do that when I started. So I think maybe the heat has had an effect. But when I was about halfway down the roof, I had the impression that the heat was just right. The rollering was really very good. It wasn't leaving any marks or anything. And I thought, oh, this is exactly the temperature we want. But <laughs> you can't replicate these things. You've just got to do it when the circumstances are best to, to attempt to do it. Anyway, I've, uh, I was up at uh, 7, I think it's about 11.30 now, <laughs> I didn't stop for breakfast or anything, I've not had a cup of tea, I have been drinking, <laughs> but uh, not tea, so I'm going to stop for a moment and uh, just have a rest I think, I think I've earned it. <laughs> Thank you. 